Good morning everyone and welcome to the first day of our mini getaway. Today is Monday and today is travelling day. I'm actually just about to pack up the car and go to Megan's to go pick up her and Ruby and then we're off on our little adventure. Just need to pack this bag, this bag and the Esky. So we're all packed in the car. We're just waiting for Megan to put her car in the garage and then we can go off. Literally our car, my car, is jam packed with stuff. We've got the two kids in the back, we've got all the stuff in the boot and all the stuff down here also. It's literally jam packed. I didn't think that we were gonna bring this much, but we are, but it is okay. So we're about to head off. We are heading off a little bit later than we wanted to, but that's okay. We can't really check into our little place anyway until two, so we've still got some hours to kill before we can um, check into our place. In our first stop, we got to Bunbury and we're at the markets. So we're just going to pick up some fruit, as you can see. Hi, Megan. Hi. <laughs> Finally, can say hi to you. But the kids have the kids have been sleeping the whole way, so which is really good. So now we're going to go get some fruit, and we're going to get some snacks for the rest of our drive down to Margaret River. So we finally got to Margaret River and we've just got to our little cabin cottage kind of thing. One, I just want to point out, I'm feeling absolutely shocking right now. I feel like fainting. It's probably because I haven't really eaten, I haven't really had any water and I've been driving all day, but I'm going to take you on a mini um, house tour of our little cabin for the next day. So this is our front door. The kids are wide awake exploring. But you come in and to your right is our lounge room. It looks really comfy. These couches look so good. But yeah, we've got a TV, an air con, which is good. Then over to our left, we've got our kitchen. So we've obviously got a fridge. Bad milk in there, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, we've got all our kitchen stuff. Yes, they have tea. No joke, guys. I was saying to Megan, I hope they have tea because I'm dying for a tea. Yes, this is our cute little kitchen, our table, which is really pretty. To our left of the kitchen, we've got one bedroom. Looks really nice. There's a wardrobe. And then I'm guessing this is the bathroom. Oh, yes. Shower's decent. And obviously this is the toilet, which we don't really need to have a look at. And then this is the last bedroom and there's a single and obviously a queen, which we've decided we're actually going to pull these together. So we have like a ginormous bed and we all can sleep in the one bed together. That is our little tour for our little cabin for the next couple of days. So while the kids are playing, we have to unpack the car. So that is what me and Megan are doing while the kids are here having fun in the lounge room. <laughs> It's been a little while guys and no joke, me and Megan both feel like crap right now. So I've got really bad stomach cramps, I've had them since last night and it's really irritating and Megan's like got a cold. So before like a few hours ago we walked all the way down into town just to go to the chemist to go get us something. <laughs> so we weren't feeling like shit. But I feel a little bit better. Megan just let me have like a tiny little nap while she was cooking tea, which was really nice. But she's cooked her tea. But Megan's cooked her tea, which we can't eat because it's got meat in it. But I'm going to cook our tea. I think we're going to have some chips, avocado, and vegan nuggets tonight. While I was cooking tea, I decided to go to the toilet and I vomited. Like, oh, Freddy! Freddy just gave me this. I vomited like my whole stomach contents in the toilet, but I feel so much better. Like I was feeling like I had a huge stomach cramp for like the last 24 hours. And now after vomiting, I feel like so much better. I feel like I'm, well, I'm actually laughing for the first time today. Like I've been feeling so flat and like ghost-like all day today. And that vomit has just like made me feel so much better. 
But um, Megan's sick and she's she's got some snot in her nose. <laughs> Can I please have the thing that you just was using? <laughs> so we went to the chemist and we got some stuff and we had to get something for Ruby because Ruby's got a cold too. And she was just shoving this up her nose to get her snot out. Her nose is so funny. It was so funny. We're just laughing because we're like, we've come on holidays and uh, Megan's mm. shoving something up her nose to get rid of her snot. Obviously the only person that is well is Frederick. <laughs> He's like killing it. <laughs> So this is what happens when you go on holiday with like your best friend. You just chill out on the couch <laughs> while watching TV. We're watching um, Married at First Sight because we're both obsessed with it. Oh my god, stop watching it. Yeah, so we're both watching it and we're literally just chilling in our pajamas on the couch with the heater on watching Married at First Sight. This is literally the life. And the kids are actually doing so well together. I was expecting them all to like... I don't know, fight with each other quite a bit and argue and everything like that just because they haven't spent this much time together at once but they're actually doing really well together. Also, my appearance is kind of shocking at the moment but we're just going to deal with it. But it is almost time for Frederick to hit the bed. We've pulled all the beds together so it's just like one ginormous bed. And I'm actually really looking forward to falling asleep because it is such a big bed. It's literally a queen and then a single right at the back. So it's literally a huge bed. But Frederick's bedtime is almost soon because he goes to sleep at 8 o'clock. So I'm going to get him to... Um, go into bed soon and get his um, TV shows happening so he can fall asleep and relax while we watch TV. Me and Megan are on a roll tonight. The kids are both laying in bed, which I know never happens with Ruby. She doesn't lay in bed, especially when she's watching TV shows. So this is a really good win for us right now. I'm really happy they are laying in there. The lights are off. So hopefully within like half an hour they're asleep. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So it's bedtime for all of us. So I just want to quickly pop on and say thank you for watching our vlog today. I know this lighting's really off, but we're just gonna deal with it at this moment because we've got very harsh yellow lighting in this little cabin of ours. But we're heading off, so I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog and day one. We'll see you guys all tomorrow for a new adventure. Bye. Bye.